All right, so now that I have the uh, new castle facade right there, um, it's time to make my uh, cemetery pillars match. So I got to work on those. I got some polystyrene right here, and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll size those up, and then we'll get to carving them and everything. Um, then I got to paint them to match. So, um, so let me roll this intro. Actually, while Brooklyn is uh, watching some um, live fast, die poor, I'll go ahead and work on these pillars. So let's get to work. <laughs> Okay, so uh, pillars right there. Remember, I kind of threw these together the year before last, and I really didn't do, uh, you know, do too much work on them. I was kind of threw them together last minute. So um, it's kind of dark outside, but uh, they're not awful. But I want to, um, I want to make them match. So I um, got my polystyrene here. We'll go ahead and carve that up, and we'll make it look like the castle wall facade. So you can see the beautiful texture they got on there. Um, you know, I do got to do some touch up. You can see right there in the middle. Um, there's some white and some cracking going on, but it's okay. We're going to touch all that stuff up. Um, there's no strategic kind of design. It's just kind of, you know, a bunch of stone. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do that same thing. Once I get everything onto my pillars, we'll go ahead and, uh, and we'll kind of just go along that same route. Okay, got my Dremel, and we're going to go ahead and go in, and we're going to start making some lines. So let's, let's go ahead and check it out. I'm going to turn this bad boy in high, and let's go have some fun. Watch your finger, Brooklyn. Actually, I should go the other way. It feels better that way. Let's go. There we go. Carve in. Okay, so in carving this stuff, make sure you wear some kind of mask because it, it gets everywhere. Um, it, it, the, the polystyrene is a little bit different, a little bit tougher to um, carve than the styrofoam. Um, but it does get less messy doing it this way. So I actually like this material a lot better. It's just a little bit uh, different to carve. Um, but the little particles that it's throwing up, it's it was just all in the air. So i got to make sure I don't breathe all that in because it's pretty nasty um, just getting in your system. So um, wear this. Look like Darth Vader. Pretty cool. Okay, so that's what I got so far. Um, just did a couple lines, took me like two minutes. So I'm not being very gentle with it. I'm just kind of ripping it up right now. Um, I'll get all the way down to the bottom and do all the other sides. Uh, then I'll paint it all later, but it's it's looking good. Um, yeah, and I did this side just because, um, I don't know, I just like this side better. So it should all paint fine with the silver there. So not too worried about it. Okay, so I started carving out everything and it looks really good. Um, gotta finish the bottom. My battery started dying on my Dremel. Sorry. It sound kind of weird. I had the mask on. Um, I'll take it off for this. Um, but what I'm doing now is I'm taking a, just a little wire brush. This is for like a, a battery um, cleaner thing. And I'm just scraping off all the excess paper and crap. Um, and it gives it good texture. It rips it all up and cleans all the stuff out. So, let's see. I'm trying to do this at the same time. But you can see how it cleans everything up. And it gives it nice grooves. So, Scrape off all that paper. Just use any kind of wire brush you have. This is just the only one that I had nearby. Um, my other one's in the back in that somewhere. Um, but yeah, just doing that. Scraping it all off right now. And it's coming out really good. Let me go ahead and suck it up with the vacuum cleaner. how 
it's looking. It's all looking really good. Um, and that wire brush just cleans everything up and cleans up all the cracks really nicely um, to give you, you know, that kind of good texture you want. Um, yeah, so it's looking really good. Brooklyn's going to help me do this right now. But you can see how good the cracks look right there. It looks really good. So, Brooklyn, you going to clean that up for me? No? Yes. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to get to work on this. All right, so uh, I got one of them done. Um, and I just want to show you guys. Um, it looks really good. I spray painted some... Um, like a primer over it and then I did some black in the cracks just kind of give me an idea um, I am gonna go over all this with something else which I'll show you when I'm done with these uh, don't want to give it away yet because it's something new I'm gonna try um, but you could tell the difference it looks really good the one on the left is last year's and uh, that was a quick job remember because I was at fear overload so that was a quick you know throw some columns together kind of things the other ones were crap and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and update these and make them better so um, that's looking really good um, I'm pleased with it and I'll, uh, I'll continue on with the other ones uh, throughout the night. So, um, yeah, I'm actually just sitting here waiting for uh, Haunter's Hangout to begin so I can, you know, listen to some Haunter's Hangout while I am working. And, um, you know, I'm going to try to get these done um, for the most part tonight, uh, except for the painting. So, yeah. All right, it's dark outside, but uh, i got to show you guys one thing. And uh, Diablo called this two years ago when I built it. Um, and it finally came to the point where I outgrew my, uh, storage for all the Halloween stuff. So, um, check it out. Everything that I've acquired lately is now in the Haunted Playhouse. So, Diablo, you called it. You said pretty soon there'll be all kinds of haunt stuff in there. And it has gotten to the point where the over, uh, the overflow of stuff has kind of made it in here. So, yep. That's uh, that's it. I'm I'm out of room in my original hunt shed, and I have more stuff out here. And uh, yeah, I'm just moving some stuff around because uh, we're expecting some rain tomorrow. So I'm making sure everything that I got that's new is covered and safe, and uh, not gonna get fucked up. So that's it. Um, I gotta do some more tarps later, like you know, I don't know this weekend if I can, but um, it's gonna have to do for now. I'm just gonna have to hope it uh, hope it doesn't get all messed up. So. All right, guys, so I'm going back in the house. I'm going to keep working on some stuff, watch Haunters hang out, and um, that's yeah, that's probably it for this episode. So um, I'll get back with you guys in a few days when I'm working on some more stuff, right? Oh. See you guys.